What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about my top 5 Android products that you probably didn't know about. Some of these products were discontinued really fast and never actually made to the market and some of them actually just never caught on. So let's go ahead and get started. So coming in at number 5 is the Motorola HS1001, expected to release in the UK in mid-2010 and never actually made it to the US. It was a um, sort of like a house phone powered by Android 1.6. Uh, it never made it. I'm trying to guess. It doesn't seem like it would be that bad of an idea. Um, maybe the design was a little off, but I, I wouldn't mind at that time having an Android powered house phone. So what do you guys think? So coming in at number four is Visualize Android Powered Headrest System. So again, not a horrible idea at all. Powered by Android 1.6, it's an entertainment system they showed off at CES in 2011. But apparently it never made it for sale, but it still barely appears on Visualize's website. So I could see this being useful for if you're in the car watching TV shows and movies that you've downloaded, even streaming Netflix if it has some sort of Wi-Fi capability or something like that. I think that would be really cool. And just... Uh, looking at applications, Twitter and stuff like that, little quick updates, I think it wouldn't be the worst idea. Alright, coming at number 3 is Samsung's Android Power Refrigerator. It debuted in 2010 with a 10-inch touchscreen display, Wi-Fi, and DLNA compatibility. So I, I still, I think this is a really good idea, actually I'm surprised that it didn't catch on. Uh, so I can see this being useful for checking, you know, just little checking little stuff like the weather, playing music and stuff like that. I can see this being useful for like, you know, looking at your Twitter real quick and just like little stuff like that I think would be really cool. And also it could have some refrigerator, um, you know, refrigerator settings where, you know, it can tell you stuff about the temperature inside the refrigerator, all that good stuff. Uh, just little stuff like that. And I think this was a really good idea, but it never actually quite caught on. Coming in at number two, the Touch Revolution washer and dryer. So this is another real one, just like the refrigerator one, but makes sense. It sort of has Android. I'm sort of looking at this future where Android is sort of integrated with everything. But this is a programmable Android washer and dryer. So, you know, who actually wouldn't want a programmable washer and dryer? I think it would be very useful. It looks like the future. So I don't know if they didn't do something right or the cost was weird. But, um, you know, having your own custom apps and settings on your washer and dryer would be pretty awesome. The next is the Samsung Galaxy Beam. So this phone, it didn't quite catch on, but it's not actually killed by Samsung. It's actually still being sold by them, but they haven't really been updating this device at all. So essentially what this is is a micro projector uh, on top of a Galaxy phone. It runs Android when it first came out. ran Android Gingerbread. It's probably gotten Jelly Bean or something like that. But uh, essentially what this is used for is a projector. You can display movies, pictures, and even... Um, slideshows if you're a business and I can see this being very useful besides carrying around a gigantic projector but never really quite caught on for Samsung Samsung hasn't really updated but it is a great device and I can see this being very useful uh, so thanks for watching guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace